For full project details, go to RebeccaNewburn.com. This video is about how to make the back cover of the weather booklet. So once again, you've got your booklet, it opens up, and you're going to um, need, you can see a little, temp, um, little palette with white temper paint, blue temper paint. You don't need much blue. Uh, you can also use a little bit of black, a flat brush, and then a smaller skinny brush, and a pre-moistened sponge. So I'm going to open up my weather booklet and the top part here closest to the title, this is going to be the upper part of the troposphere. So this is going to be where we have our cirrus cloud and then we're going to go to alto cumulus, cumulus, and then we'll have the stratus clouds, the stratus clouds down below. So um, think about when you're doing it, think about like, you know, having an image of the clouds out so you're looking at them. Um, I can't show that here because I just don't have enough space in here. But basically, the, the cirrus clouds are wispy, so I'm taking my thin brush and I'm just making some wispy little kind of clouds. Um, and then for the alto cumulus, I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to basically get a little bit of white paint on it. So once again, these are puffy clouds. And then when you make them, be thinking about where the sun is coming from. So let's say, for example, my sun is coming from here. What I'll do is I'll take just a, uh, a little bit of blue paint and then kind of in the bottom, give a little bit of shadow. Once again, if you could, it comes out like, whoa, that's way too dark, you can either just kind of go in and blend it, or you can get a clean corner and add a little bit more white to it to kind of blend it that way. So wanting to kind of add some depth to your clouds. So this is the alto cumulus here, and then the next one down is also cumulus. Sorry, is, is, is cumulus, it sounded like alto cumulus. Um, so also puffy, so cumulus means it's kind of that puffy clouds. And then maybe you add two to give it some interest. And then once again, thinking about shadow coming in and then just taking a little bit of blue and adding it to the bottom. And then we can kind of blend it in a little bit. So we've got our cirrus, our wispy clouds, our alto cumulus, our cumulus, and then down below I'm going to take my wide brush and I'm going to make some stratus clouds. Stratus are kind of those ones that kind of cover the whole sky, so I'm just kind of making some back and forth motions. And um, this is a nice time if you have black temper paint to just kind of pull in a little bit because these are often gray in color. I don't have any black with me, so I'm just going to put, add a little bit of blue to give a little bit of darker color. Great. So there is your back. And once again, you're not labeling this. Um, this is more of a kind of artistic, nice back cover piece. And then let it dry for a little bit, and then we'll start working on the inside. 